Hello, we have a lot of construction going on here in Cologne in Central Europe. Actually, it's more to the west of Europe, very tolerant part of the world where no right-wing movement will ever be able to settle. Uh, this having said, what is this about here, Maya? Um, I was asked the question, and I uh, asked the question myself, uh, in MASH, M-A-S-H, that is, there is a very interesting node which is called flight. And the particles right here, they fly in a flocking uh, way, and I've done several tutorials about this already, uh, quite a while ago. And the question is, how can we keep them under control? So right here you see them pretty restricted to space and um, they shoot out from the center and then they kind of return and they really don't get far away and uh, I just wanted to give you a hint how to do this how to keep them a little bit more under control so they don't fly away that far and as a as a nice add-on I add something which makes that uh, really nervous motion here which you see in this scene plus the black and later on red tails behind the objects. So let's create a new scene. If you don't know how to deal with MASH and how to initiate it and if th this is a little bit fast, please check other tutorials about uh, getting started with MASH. It's not complicated at all but uh, you need to know the procedure. You need basic geometry and in this case I go for a polygon plane and since MASH deals with lots and lots of objects with ease, uh, let's keep the original objects pretty simple. So I keep them down to one by one is the resolution now, a very simple plane. And now I go to MASH and click on this icon which creates a MASH waiter with 10 instances of the original. The original is hidden, which you can see here in the outline that that's the original. Um, we can give the original a color, so all the others will adopt that, that color. So that's the red color. Uh, we could use a mesh color distribute node, which is a little bit tricky to render, so let's keep it like this. And it's the tutorial is not about it anyway. Back to the mesh node here, and now we have the flight Dynamics makes them fall down. Flight makes them flock around. Add flight node. It's crea it creates this uh, kind of colorful layout here. And you see the particles shoot off. Some return, but most of them are gone. At some point they do return. But it takes a while. We have 10 in the scene. Let's increase the number we have. Go to MASH, MASH Distribute, it's currently set to 10. Let's go to 100. There's one value you can play with. You find that here in the MASH flight shape and uh, it's called the alignment strength. It's currently set to 9 when you increase this to a really drastic value like 900, they will align much better. There are lots of other values you can play with, but this gives you a flocking motion and they are a little bit un under control. You can reduce the alignment zone, you can uh, extend the field of vision, separation zone like this so they separate a little bit more from the beginning but basically the alignment strength set to a really ridiculous looking value like 900 gives you a flocking motion which is a little bit better under control let us go to the show menu and select none and now let's see the polygons so we see our flocking birds here and not the control objects. What I did in the animation I showed you at the beginning was add to the mesh node behind in the hierarchy behind the flight node 
um, a signal node. So let's just add a signal node. A signal node makes a jittering motion. So they're getting much more nervous now. Here is the strength and it's set to 1 in the default settings. When we set it to 10, we get this kind of motion. This is almost too strong because it shows more of the signal node now than of the flocking, so let's reduce it to 3. So they're flocking around and still and jittering around a little bit. Maybe we'll reduce this to 2. And finally what I did was I added trails. Go back to the mesh node and down here you have the trails. Add trails node and now you have the trails in the scene. If you find them too small raise the trail scale from 1 to for example 4. So what we did was we kept a flight node under control, we added some jittering by employing a signal node and we added trails. When you render this with motion blur it gets really crazy. Bye bye.